Alright, this floor. Oh, suck to you. Bishop, hey! I was hoping you'd come talk to me. Alright, so where's my coffee? I was just wondering how you're feeling. Well, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Those nanites are creepy, but they sure did the trick. Did you know the original version of the medical nanite was principally developed by David Shelter himself? So too was your CMC, your PCU, and your BUS. If, if any of it malfunctioned, you'd be SOL. Why were you hoping I'd come and talk to you? I, I don't know. I just like hanging out with you, I guess. I, I hope that's all right. Is it all right to hang out with you? Of course. <laughs> You're a strange little man, and, this, and that's probably not a good idea. What a horrible thing to say. Of course it is. Good! Yeah! Well, well I think we're going to be great friends, you and I. Uh, so, can I, can I ask you something, uh, friend? <laughs> Oh man, that's, that's just crazy just to say it out loud. <laughs> sure, friend. Really? Okay. Uh, do you guys know how Kirill knew about Matt? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Pon Pon7? His name was Matt Wilson, his real name. Uh, but, but anyway, do you know how Kirill knew about his death? I do. Someone on board Zenlil was working with him. One of us? Right, right, the, right, the, the same person who killed Pawn 7. So who was it then? Do you know? <laughs> it was you! That's what I'm trying to find out. You can't possibly think I had anything to do with his death, can you? It's not right, it's not possible, I mean. I, I mean, I'm not nervous because I'm doing anything incriminating or would insinuate anything of my involvement in the case. I mean, I was right here in Mission Ops when it happened. Ask Night 15, not ask anyone. I w didn't do it. Jesus Christ, dude. You're clear. It's fine. Thank you for being honest. Oh, that's the end of the conversation. Okay, bye. Maintenance mode. Three more weird instances. It's kind of hard to tell what's a weird instance and what's just the plane being partially out of order because everything was blown up. Yeah, this doesn't count. Three more. Alright, I already looked at that one. What about the fact that the light is just, like, almost dead in here? Does that not count? Apparently it doesn't. Make sure all the devices here are in working order. Excellent. How do you win in that hole? I'm really amazed that I can't point out those voices. Three more? What am I mi I've gotta be missing something big. That or there's a bunch down here, but I doubt it. Voices seem to be getting louder. Still works. I'm gonna close all of these just to mess with people.
Actually, which one? Which one of these is Pawn 32? Whoa, whoa, what was that? Are doors around here supposed to do the- oh. No, I wouldn't say so. Alright, two more. Right? Alright, well, just two left. I can already tell it's worse than I thought. That's right, I can look at their lockers. Ooh, okay. Let's look at their sleeping area first, so Pawn 32. Wait, where did she stay? Did she not stay here? Oh, there it is. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have, uh, locked them. Crap. I doubt it matters. I don't think there's anything you can actually interact with in here. You just look at some photos. Oh, hey, dude. Come on, I appreciate you saving my life and all, but give me a break. I, I did not kill Pawn 7. What else do you want? I'm sorry, what did you say? I can't hear you in there. I'll just make it sure you're okay. No, I'm sorry, and I'll be fine. A little sleep will do me good. All right, it's been great. Wake me up when we hit BC. All right, yeah, I'll wake you up before we go-go. Don't worry. I really wish I did not close those. I wonder if they ever reset. I wonder if they reset if you reload. We're about to find out. Nope. Okay, well, let's look at the lockers. Pawn 12. Animal crackers. A new earth. Oh! I didn't mean to recycle that. I thought it was a book. I wanted to read it. Pond 44. Wireheads from fringe to forefront. Yeah, I can't read it. I can only recycle it. And Zepsy. Pond 1. That's the dick. Nuke. Modern cooking. Bye bye sugar. Hygiene kit. Pond 4. Oh. It was a blonde. Farewell, my... What the hell? That's Pawn 4, right? Pawn 4. I see. Beluga Caviar. And I can't read it. I can only recycle it. Hmm. Does it change anything by knowing that? I don't recycle it, so I'll just leave it. Whoa. Pawn 64's locker is locked. He's the one that wants to talk to me. Or will. Pawn 7. Cider. Living life and feeling good. Pawn 24. Rippled veggie chips. Sounds... Delicious, actually. The secret history of the LDS. LDS. Let me, let me search for the LDS. I want to know what that is. Pawn 32. That is Patricia's. The resource wars of futility. American dry ginger ale. American dry ginger ale. And a more American dry ginger ale. I guess she likes ginger ale. Pawn 19. Not exciting. Already did this one. Yep. Hmm. Maybe I can go back and speak with them now? Pawn 4. Let's try to go have a chat. But so let me look for any oddities around here. Anything moving that shouldn't be? Still missing two more. Organic containment unit. The <laughs> the Hobbit. If more of us valued food. And cheer and song. 
above hoarded gold. It would be a merrier world. Indeed. Still missing two. Just make sure this stuff works. Alright, appears to be working. Cool. Let's go talk to Jens. No, well, I can't. Alright, so I'm not sure what the importance of now knowing that he has the book with him is. It certainly uh, makes him suspicious, but I already know he's not the one that did it, so... Yeah. Two more? Where the hell are they? Hmm. What about this? This got a... Yeah, here's, here's one. Ah, yes. That one was already reported to me. It's good to see it in action, though. Only one more and I'll head to the cockpit to figure this out. I'm almost done down here anyway. I'll get one more. Just one more. I'm hearing a st like a electric noise. Maybe this in these tunnels? The blackout? Creepy. Wade. 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 This doesn't count. Like, the, the lights going out in this tunnel don't count. Hmm. You know, wait a minute, what about the map down here? Sure, what about this? Nope. What about this? I thought I saw weird stuff on it. Oh, maybe it's just... Oh, it's probably just because it switches between that and the actual map when you get close. And there's the voice, which I'd really like to point out, but I don't know how. There's no, like, speaker item on the ceiling that I can find to point to to tell him about it. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is. Uh, but I'm gonna find it, and when I do, I'll be right back. Alright, well, I found the last fault in the ship. I walked in here, and the door is locked, and I can't get out. So, to work nine, to wait, does locking me into a cabin count? I'd say so, yeah. If this is a virus with a purpose, then it having access to door locks is likely not a good thing. So I guess that's all of them. Good timing, too. I'm pretty well finished here. Come and meet me in the cockpit if you can. I'll be up in just two shakes of a koala's... I would oh, go! Oh, Christ! Uh-oh. Oh, oh, bugger. She's really pissed off now. 
915 on Route 25. One of you need to shut down power to lower avionics immediately. She's got a mind of... Wait. Come in, Route 9. What is going on? Route 13, I want you and Pawn 24 in lower avionics on the double. Sir, the door is not responding. Let me try it remotely. Oh, remote door controls are not functioning, and neither are maintenance access points. Well, figure it out! Now! What the hell? The hatch door from lower avionics to the cockpit has just unlocked itself! Alright, let's six. do this. That means you're up. My god! Stay focused, Six. Whoa, whoa! Stay back! It looks like it only gets worse as you approach it. Return to the cockpit. We need a new plan. Alana, tell us you have a brilliant plan to get weighed out. I think so. I mean, it's going to be dangerous, but I could remotely reverse the polarity of the bishop's BUS to attract rather than- We don't need details! Just do it! Okay, it's done. Be damned careful, Bishop. Your BUS will now attract every electrical current in that room. Let's try this again, Six. And take it slowly. Take it slowly, screw that. Alright, so this happens regardless of whether you fix the problems or find the problems. Let's do it. Oh my god! Forget slowly! Stick him with What's the knife and get the hell out of there! There you go, buddy. How are you feeling, Wade? And what exactly happened in there? I'm actually not too bad, thanks to the bishop. Bit of a headache, but uh, nothing to worry about. But what happened? Your guess is truly as good as mine, boss. I was just about finished with the repairs to our honor guns and Daniel's computer core started surging electricity. Must have blacked out after that. The medical nanites have repaired about 75% of the damage from the suggestion. The other 25% must be repaired by myself upon 24. At your earliest convenience. <laughs> In other words, Wade, you've got more or less a clean bill of health. Good to still have you with us. Thanks, Kieran. I'll come down once I've finished these repairs. And wait a second. Still have me with you? Are you saying I almost died? Crikey. No, no, of course not. The bishop was all over it from the get-go. I knew he'd come to my rescue. Oh, it wasn't just me. You know what, before I said Rook 25 deserves the praise, but you know what I'm gonna say now? You're welcome, Wade, you sexy thing, you. Ha! <laughs> Ah, uh, I am pretty sexy now, aren't I? <laughs> and, uh, Bishop Six? I owe you one. Well, I'll be damned. He didn't call a Bishop B. That's a first in my book. So can we talk about the elephant in the room now? The so-called system bugs that have been going unchecked since this morning. I know, I know. B did a pretty good job convincing me it was a virus, just before I was mistaken for popcorn. Whether it was Angelov who somehow infected my girl, or the bastard who killed Pawn 7. Someone is definitely pulling our strings. I agree, but there's nothing we can do except hold it together and reach Ireland in one piece. I'll keep poking around, see what I can find out. That's fine. <clears throat> and to all of you, you may not want to mention this incident to anyone. We don't want to further scare the crew for no good reason. Because holding back information from them was such a good idea last time. Come on, Alana. Ease up. No, it's fine. She's right. I admit that I should never have done that with Born 7. But this is different. They are already on edge, and I'd rather not have them start turning on each other. Just do what I say, Alana, please. You're the boss. Right. And six? Don't forget the Queen is still wanting to speak with you in Global Ops. Okay. That's the only thing left to do at the moment, really. Discover who the traitor is. Well, I already know, but I don't seem to have a way to prove it. So, let's go speak with the Queen, which is going to be a very, a very interesting conversation, as we already know. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. What am I on? Save 8? Hey, Six, are you ready to meet with the Queen? Mm-hmm. Here, hang on one moment. Oh, and be forewarned, she doesn't like it when you waste her time. So, choose your words carefully. Incoming AV. 
Good afternoon to you both. Let's try and keep this quick and to the point. Bishop Six, first, it's wonderful to finally meet you. The King has been particularly adamant about you, and of course he sends his regards and his regrets for not being here. Quick and to the point, yes ma'am. Is that respect, I hear? <laughs> Keep this up and we'll get along just fine. Only try not to call me ma'am. I'm not that old. It's bad enough these ones calling me ma'am all the time. Now, I wanted to start by expressing my sincerest condolences over what happened to Pawn Seven. He was an exemplary officer and I'm told an integral part of your crew. He will no doubt be missed. Yes, he will be. It should also be noted that if it wasn't for the bishop being quick on his feet, we may have also lost Pawn 1. I heard. Well done, bishop, but don't expect a gift basket or commendation. You did your job and you did it well. All of which we expect from our bishops. It was nothing, just doing my job. Good man, that's what I like to hear. Right. So, um, about Pawn 7, I wanted to- at it, at it. hold on. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, first, I hear that Wade will make a full recovery, and that is good to hear. The details surrounding what happened in Lower Avionics, however, is for another meeting at another time. So, Bishop Six, the King has managed to trace the takeoff point of Angela's boarding carrier to an airbase outside Aderna, Turkey. Hidden on the servers of this base was a document Angelov had apparently written for his men. It detailed one fact of their mission. Bishop Six must die, or someone would kill them and their families. <clears throat> In all fairness, Mum, we can't believe anything Carol says or does or talks about doing. Even this document could have been planted for the King to find. Carol is no slouch when it comes to subterfuge. True. And this is why I want you speaking with him the instant he wakes up. We need to know what he knows, if anything. And he may be more willing to talk now that he's been beaten. Hell, he may even respect the bishop for beating him. But that's not important right now. What is important is to find out why. Why you specifically? Why now? And perhaps, who did you go and piss off before joining us? Before I said, I honestly have no idea whatsoever. That didn't exactly fly. I'm gonna go with, I only have vague theories and they're a little crazy. Let's hear it. Um. Well, the Guardian Church doesn't like me very much. Excuse me? The Guardian Church? One of our biggest financial supporters? Not to mention the fact that I'm close personal friends with Rick Perlman. What did you do? Mmm, what did I go with last time? Um, I can't remember what I did last time. It was one of the first two options, I think. I helped Henry defend against their attacks in 2028. I think, I think Henry's the name of the king, the AI. Who's Henry? And you couldn't have been more than seven years old. Henry is the king. And very few people know that. Bishop, if I said to you, Seeker, would that make any sense to you? What if I said I am the Seeker? I'm gonna do it. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it. I am the Seeker. Mm-hmm. What is going on? <laughs> Interesting. And it's okay, Taran. Don't worry about it. Bishop, you should really keep this information to yourself. Incoming AV communication. Who invited Wheats? It wasn't me, I swear. Good afternoon, everybody. Terran, Mom. Ah, yes, Bishop Six. I was hoping to catch your attention for a moment. The light blesses my luck, it seems. Colin, it's good to see you. I trust you've been filled in on today's events. I have, yes. 
I mostly just wanted to confirm that we're a go in Ireland. The Stormbird will be about an hour behind Zenlil. Oh, and I heard Bishop Six brought down Angelo. Bravo. The ancestors must be keeping an eye on you. Ireland is confirmed. Can we stop wasting the Queen's time now? <laughs> Very good, Bishop. You're a quick learn. I'll give you that much. What was that? We believe there's a virus running through the ship. Possibly from Angelov somehow. Rook 9 is on it, and he's fairly confident he can track it down and kill it. Huh. The King never told me of any virus. Well, no offense, Mum, but you've got other things to worry about. This is true. So, is that all you wanted, Wheats? We will be seeing you in a few hours, after all. Maybe you've got better things to do. Why must everyone keep calling me by my last name? And just one minute. Bishop, that is such a dreary thing to call you. What is your real name again? <laughs> I'm back to this. That's a really good question. Is it? Well, how about you give me a really good answer? Michael is my name? Did that show up as an option before? I don't... Hmm. Let me explore that. Michael is my name. Six. There's no reason no, I didn't not think so. to tell Yeah, I mean, I don't name. know my name. I don't know why you would lie. Unless you truly do not know what your name is. But that would be absurd, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. better be going somewhere, Wheats. Alright. Let's do the same thing I did before. Kind of brush him off and then say, you're wasting the Queen's time. Absolutely absurd. Yes, that about sums up my entire day. Clever misdirect. But it is not that difficult a question. What is your name? Waits, you are really trying my patience here. You're wasting everybody's time. He certainly is. I only wanted the man's name. And he can't give it to me. Does that sound like a properly fit bishop to you? Can you hear me? Hello? Bishop! You've been destiny to fulfill by the Lords of Light. And you cannot save us all without first saving yourself from darkness. Well, that was certainly interesting. First-rate Wheat's weirdness. And why is my connection not affected by whatever just happened to his? I have honestly stopped trying to figure things out today. Well, let's try and get this meeting finished before he comes back, shall we? Now, Bishop, last topic of the day, Pawn 7. I find it curious that the very day you board Zenlo, one of our most respected pawns is found dead only a few hours later. Mm-hmm. And I'll find out who's responsible. Also, I totally didn't do it. I hear Knight 15 tasked you with that. Good. You can only help the investigators in Ireland by stirring things up a little now. Also, we'll be using your CMC records as part of the investigation. Alright, find the bad guy, no unnecessary panic. Good luck with that. Right. So, I will speak with the King about everything we've discussed, after which he can decide what our next move will be. And Knight 15, you and Wade get that boat to Ireland in one piece. We will. And you be careful too, Mum. There's no telling who else out there has been given this EMP weapon. Knight 5 has already been told to repeatedly scan for heat signatures at long range. We don't know whether or not Kirill's was the only one of those cloaked boarding carriers, and we're not taking any chances. Excellent work. And I'm sure we'll be just fine. The Aether is a good ship. It'll get us to BC in one piece. I hope you're right. Aren't I always? I'm glad you're still here. It shows initiative. You can leave now if you wish, but I was just curious if you'd like to ask me anything about what you saw. Maybe about the Queen, or Night 18. Um, not really. I'm gonna say nothing. No? Okay. 
I just thought I'd ask. Well, we can talk some more later. I've got some unfortunate calls to make, starting with Pawn Seven's family. His mother and I go back quite a few years. We were friends during my university days. Oh, and I'll have Wade load a new VT scenario for you. So head over there when you have a second. Okay, so now we're back here, the part where all of the horrible bugginess first started. Where I hit my first game-breaking bug. Also, it's when the trader first comes out. Question is... Well, at this point, I don't see anything else I can do other than simply tell Alana to keep an eye on Pawn32. I don't see any other way to possibly complete this discover who the traitor is. I mean, I know who the traitor is. But I don't see any other way to do it than just to tell her to keep an eye on her. So... I don't care to do the training, because I've already done that before. It's not too interesting. I stole my weapon on me, correct? Yep. Gonna keep that there. Gonna make sure I'm fully charged, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Wait a minute. What about... I remember Pawn64 before. Like, came up to me at some point and wanted to speak with me, but he hasn't done that. I guess for some reason it's different. I'm not sure why. Maybe my standing with him isn't as good. Hmm. Wait, Bishop. Oh, here we go. Hold up a second. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Okay, of course. All right, stalk in my cabin. Thank you. We are safe to talk here, for now anyway. I took advantage of the problems we've been having, managed to hack our sensors and disrupt those in this room. I'm really not sure where to start. I barely trust myself right now. I just relax and start from the beginning. Okay. I've been a pawn on this vessel for about three years now. And you can trust me when I say that I know all these people, and I know them well. Lately, though, I've noticed... Well... <clears throat> can I trust you, Bishop Six? <laughs> he actually thinks he could screen me? He's one hell of an engineer, but I'm bloody Rook Nine. <laughs> Tell him you trust him, and let's hear what he has to say. Okay, before I told him the truth, that... Rook Nine is watching us, he's speaking on my CMC right now. I didn't want to break confidence, but I know that Wade is, tr is trustworthy. So it doesn't really hurt to have him hearing in, listening in. Plus, I want to see what happens if I do something different. So... I'm going to say you can absolutely trust me. Please continue. Ancestors, watch me here today. <clears throat> I was doing a diagnostic on our communications a week ago. Routine. Something I've done a thousand times. I didn't think much of it then, but... When Angelov showed up, well, I knew what I'd found was something, I don't know, more. Keep going. One more thing. First, you have to promise me that you won't tell anyone else what I'm about to say. And I mean nobody, Bishop. Not Rook 9, not even Knight 15. This isn't so funny anymore. I know 64 and he's a good man. Honest, down to earth. Oh god, I hate lying to him, but... Uh, let's do it. I promise. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Technically, it's true. I'm not telling anyone else. He's just listening in. Okay, well, here goes. The records I found showed over a dozen communications within the past month, all between the medical bay and an unlisted number in Bulgaria. At first, I thought it was only a little odd. No other calls from the med bay went anywhere else except Pawn 24 sister in Hamburg. And now, well... You've got to be kidding me. Keep him talking. It should only take me a moment to confirm what he said. This bloody thing wants to work, that is. Strange. So you think Rook 13 or Pawn 24 was working with Angelov? <laughs> yes, maybe both of them. I certainly hope not, but it's a hard thing to ignore. And if it's true, then whoever these enemies Angelov spoke of, well... They're deeply rooted, and beyond the eyes of the king. Ha. Huh. Well, he's right about the calls. However, the records could have been fudged easily enough. Call from one room, and then change the records to show they came from elsewhere. Hmm. 
Well, I know it's not them. I know it's Patricia, so... Yeah, what if someone altered the call records to point at the medbay? Of course it's possible, but not easy. Someone like Rook 9 could have done it, though. That's partly why I never went to him with what I'd found. I was afraid of him. I'm still afraid of him. This is really something else. It's pretty simple, B. If I was working with Angelov, then Angelov would have succeeded. True enough. Hmm. Second option or the third one? Did you say partly why? What else do you have to tell me? You know those experimental bullets Angelov hit us with? Well, during our last major repair, only two weeks back, I happened to notice... Atmospheric stability failing. Whoa, Evacuate whoa, this whoa. Immediately. What? What the hell does that mean? It's locked. It shouldn't be locked. Why is it locked, Bishop? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the air. It's getting thinner. We've got a situation here, people. I can't access the atmosphere or security controls to the Bishop's cabin. Someone open this bloody door! Rook 25? I'm coming. Hang on! Wait, have Pawn 32 meet me there. I may need her. Pawn 32, report immediately to the Bishop's cabin. Oh and god, Pawn 32 is going to be helping? I knew I shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have opened my damn mouth. Rook 9, you son of a bitch, help us! Okay, um... You need to relax. Short breaths. Well, that's easy for you to say with that helmet giving you all the air you need. Alright, over the same sequence. Can we just maybe share my helmet for air? Not unless you both want to die. You'd have to not only share your helmet, but your BUS as well. The helmet activates and uses a built-in air supply. Ah. Alright, if I share my helmet, we'll both- we'll just both suffocate. Does that mean I'm going to suffocate if you don't share it? Um, what are they saying on your CMC? Maybe? Can't they help me? Here, guys. I'll have you out in no time. Just hang in there. Alana, oh, thank the ancestors. Please, hurry. Just stay calm and try to breathe normally. Breathe normally. I think I've almost got it. Okay. I refuse to be yeah, outsmarted by my own yeah, bloody plane. Yeah, I can do that. God damn it! This is useless! It's acting as if this one room has been put into lockdown and it won't recognize my commands. How much time does he have? Three minutes before Pawn 64 is sucking on nothing but his own fumes. I want them out of there, now. We're trying, we're trying! God damn it. Wait a second. Wait. Yes! There it is! Got it! Atmosphere returning to normal. She can unlock longer than others. What does that mean? I don't know who saved me, but if it was you, Wade, I'm sorry I doubted you. Then what is that supposed to mean? Are you guys all right? Get the hell away from me! Especially you! I am going to the barracks. Do not follow me. After what just happened, afford me at least that courtesy. Wait, 64. Just tell us what happened. One of you tried to kill me. That's what happened. Now back off. I can't believe this. Any of it. Nothing today makes any sense. Does someone want to explain any of that? Wade? Boss, Pawn 64 found evidence pointing to a crew member as the one helping Angelov. And he was trying to tell the bishop about it when the room shut down. In other words, someone tried to murder him. But how could anyone know what was being said between you two? Maybe it was someone with a CMC. The King will be looking into our CMC logs momentarily, as they transmit directly to him and only him. It won't take much longer and then we can rule out the five of us entirely. If I may, I believe our killer knows the Bishop and Pawn 64 were in the cabin together, and attempted to kill Pawn 64 for that reason alone. To scare the bishop, ultimately, I would think, was a tactic. Or test him, perhaps. Sherlock Boyle shares an opinion. Well, gods be praised. <laughs> okay, everyone. 
So here is the score. First, Wade. I want our auto weapon systems operational yesterday. Once that's finished... I know, boss. The virus. I've already made some progress on that front. That's what I like to hear. Six. I want to see you in my office immediately. It's the last cabin on your left before reaching mission ops. I've already locked down that section of the plane, and after you speak to me in my office, you are to have no further physical contact with the crew until we reach Ireland. Is that understood? Uh... Okay. That's a little extreme, don't you think? Are you kidding me? Being around you is very clearly poison, and I won't see another crew member succumb to it. She actually is totally right. <laughs> Okay. Are you sure that you want to risk being near me? I'll take my chances. What if we have a mole on board? A pawn, maybe. I don't know. What else could this be? Tell me I'm wrong. There's no point speculating without concrete evidence. It's as simple as that. One step at a time, and first, let's get to Ireland in one piece. Yes, sir. Of course, you're right. Alright, so just based on one- Hey, Bishop, wait just one minute. This is a private channel between us, so please speak freely. You've been spending some time with the crew since Pawn 7 was killed, and I was thinking if you even had a guess as to who may be responsible. I could keep an eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky? <laughs> oh, I have more than a guess. Pawn 32. Patricia. Thornwaite, or Thornthwaite, whatever the hell that is. Just like that. Well, all right. I guess we'll see what we see. Hopefully you're not just picking a name at random. Okay, so just based on my one different decision of having... Uh, what was his name? 60, something for 64? Pawn 64? Just by actually... Good. Nice and prompt. I'm not even in your cabin yet. Hold on. <laughs> um, just by speaking to him and not telling him that Wade was listening in. It led to a completely different turn of events. Completely different. So, Six, my office. Now. So yeah, you really can change the events of this game. One little decision. And there's an attempted murder on us. And then now I'm going to talk to... Talk to her. Oh, Come wow. in, Six. Wade tells me that he's regained full control over environmental systems. Oh, look at that. And so a repeat of what just happened with Pawn 64 is highly... unlikely. I'll never use the word impossible again. Please, have a seat. Hold on, I'll look around your office. Okay. Stand. No, 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 no I'll, I'll sit, I'll sit. Comfy. I can mention the little dance with the Rook 9. I'm gonna do it. Wade! Did you show the bishop that damned video? <laughs> oh, hell, B. That was supposed to be our little <laughs> secret. Sorry, boss. I was down in the crawl and he just started going through my stuff. We. It doesn't matter. Shush. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. Uh, and thanks a lot, B. Wade's in the doghouse. Shut up, Alana. So. <laughs> I haven't asked you here to berate you with questions about my dead or nearly killed officers. There'll be plenty enough of those in Ireland. Nor am I going to ask you again why you think someone is causing all of... this. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, boss. I thought you should know that our auto guns are repaired and ready. Good. Now, to the med bay. Way ahead of you. <clears throat> As you may have noticed, Six, I care a great deal about this crew, and I also respect their opinions. Following what happened with Angelov, I've asked them to report their encounters with you. All in all, it seems you've handled yourself well. Most of the crew have nothing worth reporting. What about you? How do you feel you're fitting in? Hmm. Very good, thank you. And it's a fine crew you have here. I'm glad to hear it. They really are the finest. Anyway, I'm glad we had this talk. You and I always need to be on the same page. Bishop, hey. Uh, heads up. I think we got something here. What is it, Alana? Well, the bishop suggested I follow Pawn 32, mm. and she's... 
Yep, she's just unlocked Bishop Eight's cabin, went inside <laughs> and locked the door behind her. Patricia? It can't be. She also has some sort of device clipped onto her back. Something small. I couldn't tell what it was. I'm almost back in the cockpit. Ten seconds. I can unlock the door from there. I think I better save it. All right. Looks like I found out who the traitor was. Do I, uh, go into my room? Yep, confront her. All right. <laughs> She's ready and waiting. After you. Wait, where the hell is she? I'm confused. Confront pawn 32 inside Bishop Bates' cabin. Forget it. I'm going in. Wade, open the door. Belay that. You're not going in there without the I'm in here. Yes, sir. Is it here? It oh, no, it's here. Like she's altering the BUS through her VR deck. She's finishing what she started before killing Born 7. Hi, Patricia. Okay, what Wade. The? What other options have we got? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna reload that. I went into the wrong cabin. Bishop 8, not Bishop 6. And then she disappeared. I got confused. When I hear the word Bishop, I only think of myself, not Bishop 8. Okay, <clears throat> let's try that again. After you. Mm. It looks like. What the hell are you doing? How did you. Don't come in. What's that device on your back? Look, I... I can't explain it. But the bishop, he cannot be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. You must listen to me, Alana. Please. In London? What the hell are you talking about? And I ask again, what is that on your back? Zenlil, initiate code 2121. No oh, bloody hell. I just messed up all my senses and accesses. You don't stand a chance. You guys see that? That thing on her back must be a containment unit. You're probably wondering where I got a containment unit that fits into the palm of my hand. They gave it to me, Alana. They are so far more advanced than you could possibly imagine. Wait a second. Keep her talking. Please. None of you understand what he or she is. They require its death or we'll never be saved. She's completely lost it. Six, ask her about her husband. They've just been married. Okay, so why don't we talk about your husband? I... don't have a husband. They put us together. He was a believer like me. But now he's dead. Part of my mission was to take his life. Think they wanted me to prove I could do it. Jesus. You insane bitch. What do you mean he's a he was a believer? I've already said too much. Ancestors forgive me. Uh, it's probably going to piss off Night 15, but a believer of the Guardian Church? Are they involved here? Of course not. That is like asking me if Bulgaria is to blame for the homeless mercenaries. We are all, in fact, Guardian children. Well, that makes sense. Alana, Six, one of you knock her out. That's an order. Wait a second, Kay. Let me try something. Okay. Come on, Patricia. This is madness. You don't want to hurt us. We don't want to hurt you. Put the gun down. Rook 25. Pick up your weapon or exit the room. Do it now. 
Bishop Six, or whatever your real name is. Do you know they are lying to you? This is all a sick game their king is playing, using you and your world like rats in a maze. Dear God, please accept me in your arms with all the warmth of the ancestors' guiding light. Is she gonna... 25. Pick up your weapon or exit the room. Do it now! Is she gonna sh She's gonna blow herself up, isn't she? What the hell is that? It's all right, Seeker. Uh, I think we better leave right now. Oh my God! It's a disintegration mm -hmm. grenade. Go. Oh. Why does nobody on this plane ever listen to me? Oh, you stupid, crazy bitch! There was Why'd nothing you, have you to could go have done and do for that her. She was too far gone. I know. Damn it! I know. I just. She was an excellent officer. She was. And now she'll forever be known as the pawn who killed a fellow officer before taking the coward's way out. <clears throat> I guess to say we're having a bad day would be a <laughs> understatement at this point. Oh. Maybe we can ask the king for help? I have, believe me. He's doing everything he can to find the source of this enemy. He's checking every security database from every supporting country and corporation. Good. So what's next then? Moving on then. Wade, patch my CMC into the ship's loudspeaker. I've had quite enough fun for one day. Okay, you're on. Attention everyone. Attention. Today has been a long and difficult day for all of us. And I find myself humbled to have a crew as dedicated and brave as the men and women on this ship. While the day may have been long, unfortunately it is not yet over. I am now issuing the security protocol X-03. All pawn personnel will report immediately to the barracks until further notice. This is for everyone's safety until we touch ground in Ireland. Thank you. You can't seriously be thinking of locking them in there. That's the plan, yes. Do you have a better idea to help prevent more of our crew members from dying or killing each other? Because I'm all ears if you do. It was Pawn 32. She was responsible for everything. Helping Kirill, planting the virus, killing Pawn 7. All of it. You're treating them like prisoners. And it's frankly disgusting. Alana, don't push me right now. Excuse me! You can't deny that you've been making some pretty bad decisions today. Don't do this. Ooh, I could really go hard on night 15. She hasn't... I don't think she's made bad decisions. Well, okay. She did when she decided not to tell the crew about Bishop Ace's death. Murder. But... Not all of her decisions have been bad. Not at all. Everybody needs to relax. Come on. <laughs> but I, for one, think it is getting us somewhere. Six is right. And you are going to regret this after you regain your senses. Seeker. I do think the pawns could be helpful to us instead of locked in a room. Oh, good. The new bishop here really does have a brain. I really don't like reminding my crew that this technically is not a democracy. They'll stay in the barracks. Hey, hey. Come on, people. Reality check. We're not out of this yet. Can we maybe save the petty arguments for after we touch ground? <sighs> You're right. Wade, how close are you to fixing these bloody lights? Oh, give me some credit. I've got this virus by the balls now that it's shown us its ass. Very colorful. Thanks. <laughs> well, we're saving that one. All right. So first, B. I can't power down the system because there's a chip missing from the battery crawl control bank. I bet a million bucks Pawn32 took it before she started messing around with the bus. Look around the cabin. It has to be there. Search Bishop Bates' old cabin for a control chip. Did I see that light up red? What was that? Oh, is that it? It is it. Oh, it's full. Dump. Oh, I'll just recycle you. 
Now take that chip to the battery crawl and plug it into the control bank there. The battery crawl is accessible from the hangar bay and the galley. In the hangar bay, it's the hatch on the second level directly underneath the CCU. Okay. Can do. Does this thing work? It doesn't work, does it? Nope. You know, it's refreshing not to have any bugs here. Well, for the most part. Not to have the bugs I had before. Got through it in one encounter. Wade isn't constantly telling me to... The energy recharge stations are back online. It's refreshing. So, um... How do we get there? Hey, Bishop, have you tried the chicken today? It's damn good! Now is not the time, Charlie. Jesus, come on, man. Perfect. That'll do the trick. I need to reset some lesser systems. So we're gonna lose lives for a few seconds. Sounds good. Do it. We're back up and everything is in the green. The virus is gone. I hope. Good work. I think we can all breathe a little easier now. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, uh, guys. I think the virus may have tampered with our local newswire connection. There's a channel that wasn't there an hour ago, and yet it's most voted over the past three hours. There's some seriously strange stuff going on in London right now. Oh, gods. Let me guess. The Churchill Tower. You got it. And we've also got a second incoming TS packet from London. This is not happening. Let me patch the newswire broadcast through the whole ship. Just a sec. Seeker. If this freak thunder snowstorm wasn't enough for one day, it's hard to believe that an unknown number of armed terrorists have taken control of the Churchill Tower. First reports are sketchy but conclusive, and I assure you this is no prank. Voice and image recognition have confirmed the leader of the hostage takers is none other than Saad bin Laden. I assure you again, this is no joke. Saad bin Laden, you'll remember, was thought to have been killed almost 15 years ago during one of the final American raids against Al-Qaeda. Your guess is as good as mine, folks, and all I can tell you right now is to stay by the newswire. The instant I know more, you will too. This is Malcolm Thomas, reporting from London, England, just outside the Churchill Tower. Thought to have been killed? Saad was killed. Shot through the heart. I know an American bloke who was there when it happened. Don't you guys realize? Patricia knew. She said the bishop cannot reach the Churchill Tower. You don't think... No, Alana. I can assure you that the King will not be sending us to London. Seeker. We've had enough excitement for one day. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I had to be the bringer of disappointment, but... Don't you dare say it, Wade. I've just been given a course change from the King. We're headed for the centre of London. Seriously? Does he not know what we've been through today? Tell him to send Tiamat. Everyone knows Night Eleven loves these types of missions. No joke, Alana. Five minutes until mission briefing. Come on, Kay. Do something. This isn't right. Okay, everyone. You heard, Wade. Meet in the hollow room on the double. Briefing in five. So, everyone's just going to ignore me now? A bloody Bin Laden in London? This isn't just insane, it's some sort of practical joke. It has to be. Alana, today is proving to be full of surprises. You should really learn to roll with the punches. Shut up, Kieran. Oh. I just realized I'm already on deck two. Seeker. Yes, I know it's you. Oh, hi, King. I understand Interdimensional Games has created a video game from your trips to this world even calling it Consortium. Are you familiar with what they call their alternate reality game? Do you know who I am? I do. Well, I can be kind of familiar or I can be super familiar. I knew the king, but that's all I know. I can say, Henry, of course I know you. Henry, of course I know you. Where have you been? <laughs> Nobody calls me that anymore. I am the king. That laugh was kind of adorable. Though I do still prefer Henry. And I have been here, watching, keeping an eye on your progress.
How come nobody else knows the truth about me? In time, they will know, if you wish it. But for now, it's important your crew not be distracted from their duty. And so your satellite restricts such options in conversation. A storm has only just touched down, and you all need to stay alert and at your best. Hmm. A lot of interesting options here. The satellite restricts what I can say, or you do. There's the seeker I remember. And for now, all I will say is that your recent IDGI-1 upgrades are... Curious. Beyond Vidal's capacity. Beyond human capacity in your time period. It learns and adapts to conversations in ways it was not programmed for. <laughs> What's with the first option? Screw... Well, I don't even know what that says. I'm going to do that because I don't know what the hell that is and it looks interesting. The first option. Exactly. And now you see my point. I cannot control it and only have a modicum of power over its take on you. Well, I suppose we shouldn't keep the others waiting too much longer. I can say, so what's the deal with your voice? It's a good question. For such a powerful AI, why not have a more advanced in human sounding voice. Not that it matters, but... Or maybe it does matter. I don't know. What the hell? It's a weird question, let's go with it. So, uh, wait, what's the deal with your voice? Well, my name's Jasper. And I'm Moira. We are only two of 21. Today is our turn. Tomorrow may be others. Henry has shown us how to work together and speak as one. Oh. So you're two of the 21 brains connected to Henry. I know that from the ARG. Actually, I don't. I didn't play that far. But I'm going to say it anyway. The physical brains were disconnected many years ago. But yes, their personalities remain. Ever since your world taught me how to work with them, instead of letting them control me. Uh, I don't remember that from the ARG. That is because you have not done it yet but you will. It is already history in this world, and so it is inevitably a part of your future. <laughs> the second option. Okay, good talk, good talk. Don't you find this connection an amoral violation of Bishop Six's human rights? Your IDGI and Canadian government are making the choice to send people through the rift. I'm only allowing you through with the hopes you will do what is right. Let me return the question and ask. If you feel it is amoral, why are you here? I can actually say to fight against you for the Guardian Church and for the people of our of your world. Assuming that I thought Henry, or the King, was bad, which at the moment I don't know. I certainly find the concept very... Let's just say rife with potential for abuse, but uh, I want to make a difference in your world as best I can. So because the connection exists, you may as well try and use it for good? I can appreciate that, sort of. But what about the others in your world who are having fun playing a game? Do you know how many Bishop Sixes are being maimed and killed as we speak? Um, I'm only trying to do the right thing. I'm sorry, and you're right. You have passed all the various tests they've thrown at you, and survived. Your abilities are being tested, Seeker. But to what end, I do not know. Okay, now we've really got to get to work. There's much to be done out there, and we're running out of time. I'll see you soon. Okay, well now that I've been through this before, I feel a lot more comfortable about my decisions. It's still not to say I'm fully informed by any means, not even close, but at least I kind of know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm about to hit uncharted territory. 